Yo, what's good everyone? Today I'm going to be breaking down some of my favorite tournament or GPP plays for this week 10 NFL DraftKings main slate. And like I always do here with these videos, I'm going to kick it off with a couple of my favorite game stacks, and then we'll dive into some of my favorite individual plays and stacks. With that being said, let's dive right into this. And we're going to kick things off here with a couple of game stacks that I'll be targeting this week. First being this game between the Commanders and Seahawks. I like stacking up Geno Smith with DK Metcalf and Jackson Smith. Smith and Jigba, and then running it back with Terry McLaurin. It's a very affordable stack here in a game that has some shootout potential. We have an implied game total of 44 and a half points. That's the fourth most on this main slate, and I just like attacking this commander's secondary right now. Since week four, this defense has really struggled against the pass, having given up the second most passing yards per game, fifth highest passer rating, and the sixth most yards per attempt. And now that they're missing Montez Sweat and Chase Young on that defensive line, after after trading them at the deadline, this defense is even worse. So I like attacking the passing game here for the Seahawks. I think it's a get right spot for Geno Smith. And then running it back with one of those commanders wide receivers, whether it be Terry McLaurin or Jahan Dotson, I'm okay with either one of those guys, but certainly do prefer McLaurin in this spot. They love to throw the ball, and if they're down in this game, that's not going to change. This commander's offense actually leads the NFL with 39.2 pass attempts per game. Now, now, with this next game stack that I'm going to highlight here, it is more of a boom-bust type of stack, so keep that in mind. I absolutely think we can stack up this game between the 49ers and Jags, this game between the Lions and Chargers, or even the Bengals and Texans. Those three games will certainly be popular targets in tournaments this week, but I'm going to go a little off the board here and target this game between the Saints and Vikings. Now, for starters, I do like that this game is being played indoors. I've mentioned this throughout the season. As the season progresses here, we get worse weather, it starts to get cold in some spots, you get some rain, some snow, all sorts of things that impact these games. That obviously doesn't happen indoors. So what I like stacking up here is Derek Carr with Chris Olave and Rashid Shahid, and then running it back with TJ Hawkinson. It is a very affordable stack here that allows you to spend up elsewhere throughout your lineup. And this Vikings defense has struggled against wide receivers this year, giving up 56.7 DraftKings points per game. That's the third most in the NFL, and I like running it back here with Hawkinson because ever since Justin Jefferson was put on the IR, he has been a target monster in this offense, seeing a 28% target share, 31% air yard share, and a 30% first read share. Now, folks, before we dive into some of these individual plays and stacks here, if you could like this video and subscribe to the channel, I would greatly appreciate that. We're building a brand here at Slide Dog Sports, and every like, comment, and sub from you guys truly does go a long way. We also brought a brand new channel here to Slide Dog Sports just last week called Mulligan Masters. Here's a little preview to that. Oh, oh. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Uh, kind of a hope and a prayer. Out of this thing, that's a pancake. That's a pancake pan right there. Yeah, it's probably not worth it though. <laughs> that was for you, okay? That, that was, was all you. the first putt scout. I put the right How far was this? So for you golf fans, sports fans, and people just looking for some entertainment on YouTube, give us a sub here today. You can find us at Mulligan Masters, or you can just go to my page here on Sly Dog Sports, go over to the channel side, off to the right-hand side, and you'll see Mulligan Masters below. Now, diving into some of these individual plays and stacks here, we're going to kick it off at the quarterback position, and I like Jared Goff of the Detroit Lions this week, priced at $6,400 in a matchup on the road against the Chargers, where we would need 25.6 DraftKings points for him to hit 4x value. You know, I just mentioned that this could absolutely be a game stack that we target this week. There's some shootout potential between the Lions and the Chargers with an implied game total of 48.5 points. That's actually the most on this main slate. And the Lions have an implied team total of 25.75 points. That's the third most on this main slate. And this Chargers defense has struggled against the pass this year, ranking 21st in pass DVOA, while allowing the third most DraftKings points per game game to opposing quarterbacks. Now, moving over here to the running backs, I got a couple that I want to highlight. Talked about a few in my cash games video as well. If you haven't checked that out yet, make sure you go do so. But in terms of tournaments here this week, I do like Tony Pollard of the Dallas Cowboys. Priced at $7,300 in a great matchup at home against the New York Giants. At that price, we need 29.2 DraftKings points for him to hit 4x value. And while his numbers haven't necessarily been great this year, this does look like a get-right spot for him. Since week five, this Giants defense has 
has really struggled against running backs, having allowed the highest yards before contact and ranking 28th overall in rush defensive DVOA. And then the other running back that I want to highlight here is Aaron Jones of the Green Bay Packers, priced at $6,500 this week in a matchup on the road against the Steelers, where we would need 26 DraftKings points for him to hit 4x value. Matt LaFleur, their head coach, came out last week and said we need to get this guy the ball more, and that happened to be the case last week. He saw his highest workload of the season with 24 touches and 99 total yards, and the Steelers' defense has not been great against running backs this year, having allowed 28 DraftKings points per game to the opposing position that's the sixth most in the NFL while having the league's 12th lowest stuff rate. Now, moving over here to the wide receiver position, and there's a lot to love about the wide receivers on this Week 10 slate. I highlighted a bunch in my cash games video yesterday, but as far as tournaments go this week, one guy that I think is being slept on is Mike Evans of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, priced at $7,200 in a good matchup at home against the Tennessee Titans, where we would need 28.8 DraftKings points for him to hit 4x value. I like the numbers for Evans this year, a 21% target share, 36% air yard share, and a 27% for first read share as Titans defense and secondary has really been bad for a couple of years now that has not changed here this year either ranking 24th overall in past DVOA while allowing 53.1 DraftKings points per game to opposing wide receivers that's the fifth most in the NFL and I'm gonna have no problem running it back in that game with a wide receiver for the Titans that's gonna be DeAndre Hopkins who's priced at six thousand dollars where we would need 24 DraftKings points for him to hit 4x value with Will Levis at quarterback here. Hop has seen a 24% target share, 40% air yard share, and a 27% first read share. Plus, this Buccaneers secondary has really struggled against wide receivers themselves, having allowed the second highest PPR points per target and receiving yards to perimeter wide receivers. And then the last wide receiver that I want to highlight here is Deontay Johnson of the Pittsburgh Steelers, priced at $5,400 in a matchup at home against the Green Bay Packers, where we would need 21.6 DraftKings points for him him to hit 4x value and folks Deontay Johnson looks back over the last two weeks he's seen a 32% target share 49% air yard share and a 38% first read share really love those numbers and this Packers defense has not been great against the pass this year ranking 25th overall in defensive pass DVOA and then I got a couple of tight ends here for you guys and I'm definitely willing to spend up at this position this week Sam Laporte is one of those guys I'm willing to put in my lineup at $5,700 Again, playing on the road here against the Chargers, where we would need 22.8 DraftKings points for him to hit 4x value. The rookie tight end has been awesome in this Lions offense, seeing a 20% target share and a 21% first read share. And this is a good matchup for him against this LAC defense, who have given up the second most receiving yards to tight ends this season. His game, as I mentioned earlier, is 100% stackable, as it has the highest implied total on the main slate. And then another tight end that I would be willing to spend up for outside of Laporta and Hawkinson this week is Dalton Schultz of the Houston Texans, priced at $4,900 on the road here against the Bengals, where we would need 19.6 DraftKings points for him to hit 4x value. He is a guy who's seen a 17% target share, 17% first read share this season, but he leads all tight ends in the NFL with eight red zone targets. Hard to ignore that number. And the Cincinnati defense has been very good overall, but they have struggled against against tight ends, having allowed the third most receiving yards per game to the position, allowing basically 15 DraftKings points per game. That's the eighth most in the NFL. And then we're going to wrap up this video here with a couple of defenses. And everyone, I have no problem spending up for the Cowboys here this week. Yes, they're expensive at $4,400, but they're at home here against the New York Giants, who at this point might have the worst offense in the NFL right now. They're going to be rolling out Tommy DeVito at quarterback, who had two interceptions and took six sacks last week versus a very mediocre Raiders defense. This Cowboys defense is one of the best in the NFL, ranking fourth overall in defensive DVOA and having created the second highest pressure rate at 36%, they're going to be able to get after Tommy DeVito. And I know I just highlighted a Houston Texans player in Dalton Schultz. Like I said, good matchup for him against this Cincinnati defense. But outside of that, the Bengals defense has legitimately been good. They're priced at $2,800 here, which I really like that price in the 2K range. At home here, where we need 11.2 DraftKings points for them to hit 4X value. Now, look at the last three quarterbacks that they've played here. Josh Allen, 
Brock Purdy and Geno Smith. Now, I don't want to put a whole bunch of merit into Brock Purdy or Geno Smith, but Josh Allen, definitely one of the better quarterbacks we have in the NFL, and all three of those offenses have scored less than 18 points over their last three games against this defense. No reason to think they can't do the same here against Houston and a rookie quarterback who, yes, everyone, I'm well aware has been very good coming off a historical game last week, but I do like this spot considering the price, and this defense has been able to get pressure as well, having ranked 8th overall in the NFL so far this year, getting a 33% pressure rate. All right, everyone, that is going to wrap up this video here for today. As always, thank you all for taking the time out of your day to watch the content here on this channel. If you could like this video and subscribe to the channel, I would greatly appreciate that. Let's have ourselves a great weekend here, folks. Let's win some money on this Week 10 main slate. And in the meantime, I'm out of here.